52-year-old Kevin Norman Whitfield has been found guilty of two counts of raping a child, two counts of encouraging a child to engage in sexual activity and two counts of sexual assault, with all charges dating back to 1999. Earlier this week at the Supreme Court, the jury heard from the victim. She told them she was raped and sexually abused by the defendant for eight months when she was 11 years old. Now age 28 and living in the United States, she says she finally decided to speak out after receiving years of therapy and has returned to Gibraltar to seek justice. The Royal Gibraltar Police has taken the opportunity to encourage other victims of historic sexual abuse cases to come forward. Uh, we are very pleased for the result uh, of this afternoon's um, verdict. Uh, it just demonstrates that historic cases of this nature of serious sexual uh, offences are thoroughly investigated. Um, they carry credence. The Attorney General was pleased to present it before the courts and the courts have seen it through to its uh, finality and uh, with a guilty pleas found on all charges. So, Inspector, do you think because of this result, other victims of historic child abuse cases um, may come forward now as a result? Well, um, we are of the view that victims of uh, sexual abuse should not suffer in silence. And therefore, uh, this case uh, presents uh, the perfect example of why um, they should take that step forward and have the trust in the RGP, have the trust in the Attorney General's chambers and have the trust in the court system that they will be heard and um, they can then therefore come forward and if there's anybody out there that has uh, second thoughts they can always come in and speak to Sergeant uh, Gonzalez and, and the matter can be discussed in the utmost uh, strictest of confidence and privacy. And Sergeant Gonzalez, you've been leading the case since 2013 so how do you feel now that it's all over? Um, I'm happy with the end result, the guilty verdict the jury have come up with. I know it's not an easy decision lay on people of, of Gibraltar. Um, however, I, what I can say is um, I've already relayed the message to the victim. Um, she's happy with the decision and she wishes to thank obviously the RGP for the investigation, myself and my team and the, the Attorney General's chambers, the Attorney General and Crown Counsel Fernandez for taking this matter and presenting it to court. Whitfield denied all allegations, and David Dumas QC, who represented the defendant, said there were central factors in the Crown's case that didn't add up. However, during closing submissions at the Supreme Court, the Attorney General, Ricky Roda QC, told the jury that they had no option but to consider Whitfield guilty on all six charges. He described the former policeman as shifty and dishonest, and said his evidence in court was a deadpan performance compared to the victim's burst of truthfulness. Puny judge Karen Prescott instructed the jury, who retired early this morning and deliberated till mid-afternoon. They returned a unanimous verdict for all six charges.